All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and its sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sensitive believers in the few I qualify, I would like to say Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'amayan, and Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson going to uh, remaining faithful for Yahweh by Shema Roshai, right? Okay. And um, the first precept I'll bring out is Sirach. Chapter 4. And verse 28, it says, Scribe for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. It takes faith to keep scribing. It takes faith to keep going. It takes faith, okay? And what... uh what we learned, what the scriptures say, right? So like Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse one, it reads, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yahweh Shai, our Lord, told Thomas, um, you have seen me, right? As a matter of fact, uh, let me grab it. Book of St. John, chapter 20. And, and I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 29 reads, Yahweh Shai said unto, unto Thomas, Because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. We haven't physically saw our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, we haven't saw how about Shema was shy, man. But we see the miraculous works because we have faith, man. Right? This is Hebrews, once again, chapter 11, verse 1 again. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay? That's that assurance, man. Because we can't see Yahweh Shai, but we have faith that the Lord is going to come through, man. We have faith that the Lord is going to going to deliver the hopeful elect and get us out of these chains of darkness, man. Okay? But we have to do what we're supposed to do. Fear Yahweh Shai Shai and keep the commandments to the best of our ability. Putting off that old man, being brotherly, being sincere, man. Not lying to yourself. Not lying to you, how about Shemal Shai? Okay? To the best of your ability, man, being a man of you, how about Shemal Shai, right? Verse 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. In the Lord name, uh, Yahweh means he is, he is to be. The ancient of days, he exists, right? And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Diligently, man. Sincerely seek him. Okay? And I have a list of precepts. Uh, this is 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. It says, only fear the Lord. And uh, all caps, that's Yahweh, right? Only fear the Lord Yahweh and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he have done for you. And that's absolutely right. Should humble you and make you reconsider. To sit there and meditate on the things the Lord have delivered you from. And the Lord could uh, the Lord could have put you to death. The Lord could, he, he didn't have to wake you up. He, he could have took the spirit away from you. First time you went out, first time you messed up. Or the, the third, fourth, fifth time you went off or failed. Okay. The Lord has done great things for us, man, and the kingdom is already prepared, man. We just got to go through the straight gate. 
All right. Once again, 1 Samuel 12 and 24, only fear the Lord Yahweh and serve him in truth. Okay? You can't be faking the funk, man. And sincerity and truth is how you worship Yahweh by Shemar Shah in spirit and truth, man. For consider how great it says, for serve him in truth with all your heart, man, all your mind. Your heart go back into the, the, the word heart go into the, your, your mind. Okay? <laughs> For consider how great things he have done for you. This is the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It's important, man, to fear your heart by Shemar Shai and be faithful as you can be to the best of your ability, man, wholeheartedly. Really yearning to please your heart by Shemar Shai. Okay, because he is watching. Proverbs 15 to 3, right? It says what um, the Lord is beholding the evil and the good. He's watching, man. You can't fool him. Okay, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Okay. Uh, what that scripture is and... Um, Sirach chapter 3 and verse 24. It says, For many, it says, For for many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment, leaning on to your own understanding. It's not going to deliver you, right? Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding, man, because. Leaning onto your own understanding gonna make you fall. Ultimately, get you destroyed. Okay. Trust in the Lord, man. For the sincere acumen, aqua, the sisters, the brothers and sisters, man. Okay. Ephesians chapter two, verse eight. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And you show your works by your faith. You show your faith by your works, right? But we're gonna be saved by grace, man. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Amen. Lord willing, Abba Radazah, the Lord have mercy on the sincere acumen Akwaf. Because the Lord is gracious, man. He's worthy to be praised, man. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. Because we don't want to be wavering. What that says in... Um, I want to say in the book of James, chapter 1, and verse 5, it says, if any, of, if any of you lack wisdom, let them ask of Yahweh that give to all men liberally and upbraid of not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that waver is like a wave of the sea. Driven with the wind and tossed. See? You don't want to waver, man. Let's get that word. See what it says. Strong's G, 1252. Diacrino. Diacrino. It says to separate, make a distinction, discriminate, to prefer, to learn by discrimination, to try, decide, determine, give judgment, decide a dispute, to withdraw from one, to separate oneself in a hostile spirit, to oppose, to hesitate, man, to doubt. Hey, man, we don't want to doubt, man. The Lord don't. Want no hypocrite, man. And I'm talking to myself first and foremost because why? The Lord is watching, man. Okay, going back into uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 again. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, without doubting. For he is faithful that promised, man. Yahweh by Shemar Shah is faithful. Proverbs 3 and 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, 
write them upon the table of thine heart, and we got to hold fast to what we have. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Whew. Hey, man, it's important. The Lord is going to reward the faithful, man. The meek shall inherit the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord Yahweh, thy power, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might, man. That's right. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. It says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of, the, of man the things which Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. Because if you stay faithful, we're going to receive that, man. You know, all Israel in the kingdom will be okay, living good. But the hopeful elect, the first fruits, man, they're going to have a different shine. Because on this side, they chose to suffer for Yahweh Shemal Shai's sake, man. Okay. Lord willing, man, the Lord just keep us. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. Lord willing, man. Hey, this is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 20. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. They to hell with this life, man. You know, your day to day, your day to day little woes and getting through the hard times and trying times, your, your job and things of that nature, man. Doing it lawfully, right? It, it could be a burden, but we cast our burdens to you. How about Shemal Shah? Because it just said a faithful man shall abound with blessings. So, a hey, stand faithful to you, how about Shemal Shah? And not uh, taking your hand out the plow, taking that low, just choosing to suffer, okay, taking it cheerfully. Man, the Lord see that, man, and, and that make the Lord proud, okay? This is uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Lord is the mediator, man. He's the sacrificial lamb, man. He paid that price. And we've been bought back with a price, man. So we owe the Lord, man. So it's not, it's not wise to play with the Lord's money. We got to be faithful, man. Not slothful, but faithful. This is 2 Chronicle chapter 19, verse 9. And I just want to speak on that particular verse again. Uh, you can't go, come up some other way, man. You got to accept Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Okay? 2 Chronicles 19 and 9. And he charged them, saying, Thus shall ye do in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, faithfully and with a perfect heart, man. Hey, let's remain faithful. Lord willing, man, because the Lord is watching us. And we want to remain blameless without spot. Okay? Lord willing, man. Once again, Lord willing, it was an edifying lesson. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. How long is true from according to the Bible? Shout and warm to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers in a few Akwaf, I would like to say shout and warm. Babakwasha, 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 Ababa Baal, Kwame Asharala, Barak Kyle Akim, shout and warm.